Good morning, welcome to the vlog. It's Thursday, I think. What are we gonna do today? I don't know, let's just see. There's my baby all dressed. He's got a little jumper on and some little legging things, pants, whatever they are. Didn't you look cute? Hey, with your little Harry Potter scar. And me. I am in this <laughs> because I cannot be bothered today. It's a rainy day and the house is a mess and I'm a mess. The baby's nice and clean now, aren't you? You're the, you're the smartest thing in this house. Yeah, everything else is a, a bit of a tiff. I need to do a little bit of a clean. I just kind of want to chill today. I might just like slowly bake some cookies. Does anyone else's baby do this for fun? Is that fun? You're out of breath. He literally gets pieces of clothing and shoves it in his face, leaves it there and then takes it off. <laughs> Is that fun? You're such a strange boy. This is currently his play mat. Um, it's got a few little bits and bobs hanging on there. So then you can grab them, some of them make noises. But he likes it. Are you ready to go on your play mat? Hey, instead of playing with a pair of pants. <laughs> Come on then. There we go. He can actually see himself in that. It's a mirror. <laughs> you reckon it? You reckon it? Honestly, if I let him, he'd destroy everything. <laughs> How is everyone doing, by the way? Are you all doing good? What are your plans for the weekend? Uh, I don't think we're doing anything this weekend, I don't think. Not that, I've not got anything planned anyway. Um, the weather's starting to get a little bit crappy now. So the winter months are coming in. That's why I'm like this. I'm just ready for Christmas now. I'm so excited. It's going to be the baby's first Christmas. And we're actually, all my family are coming to mine this year um, for Christmas Eve. Because we do like a little Christmas Eve thing where we get a takeaway. Um, and play some little games. Play some prize bingo. So yeah, that'll be good this year. I'm excited for that. I'll be the hostess. Which is... Uh, I like being a hostess. <laughs> Apart from the last bit where you have to clean everything, that's the bit I don't like. After you've got to clean up, clean up after everyone. <laughs> but no, it should be good. Um, gosh, I, I'm desperate for the toilet. I need to go. <laughs> right, so I'm at the washing machines. Um, I did. I did so much washing yesterday. It was ridiculous. Like we have got washing constantly every day i'm doing washing either putting it away putting it in to get cleaned or putting it in the dryer um there's just always washing it's like never ending is anyone else's household like this where they've just got pia washing everywhere let me know <laughs> let me know i'm not the only one because it's ridiculous i mean james is a builder so obviously he comes home with loads of crap all over him so he does have to clean I do have to clean his clothes a lot. Um, and then obviously added on now is the baby. And the baby always needs changing all the time. So it's just a lot of clothes. <laughs> just a lot of clothes, me washing all the time. I'm literally just taking the stuff out the dryer now, ready to be put away. And then I'm going to put another wash load on. So we've got a fairy pod. So put that in there. Underneath there. Whack it on, put a bit of comfort in, bit of that in, press play, and Bob's your uncle. The baby sounds too quiet for my liking, which means he's up to something. Hmm. Anyone else get that? Where they just go silent and you're like, what's going on? Oh no, he's all right. He's alright. He's playing. Look at my sage now. 
Beth got me this uh, to grow herbs in. And look at the sage going wild in there. Nice, isn't it? Smells lovely as well. Oh, strong. Oh, lovely though. Anyone else growing any herbs in their uh, kitchen? I've not used it yet in my cooking, so I'll have to I'll have to use it tonight maybe or when I next get my cooking spree on. Lately, like I just can't be bothered um, cooking. I don't know what it is. Sometimes, well, I did cook a, I cooked like a curry last night, uh, butter chicken it was. It was lovely, really, really nice. It was from um, Joe HelloFresh. I don't know if you have ordered a HelloFresh box before, but I definitely recommend it to anyone because honestly, it's so much easier. Like you get everything with it, including the meat. Um, so this is what we had last night. Um, and then these are like the other orders that I've had in the past. Um, but there's all different ones in there. But you can keep the cards. And then on the back it gives you all the ingredients and the instructions. So once you've ordered it, you can cook it once. And then keep the recipes for another time. Which I think is awesome. <laughs> it's just so much easier than having to figure out what you want for tea. Uh, they literally just choose for, yeah. Oh, you okay, chicken? Um, you literally choose. Uh, they, they choose for, yeah. Or you can choose to switch the meal to something that you like. Um, and then, yeah, they send the, a whole box out to you. Yeah. Are you okay, chicken? Are you getting bored? They send the, the box out to you. Sorry about all the boxes here. Send them this massive box of all the veg, all the herbs, all the stock cubes or whatever you need. They send it out to you and then you make the meal. And honestly, it's a godsend because I, I can't figure out what to have for tea sometimes because I'm like, oh, what do I feel like? I don't actually know. Like, And I, I, I get annoyed at myself because I'm like, oh, I can't think of anything. Um, but then that, I can just look at it and be like, oh, looks like we're having this tonight then. And then they kind of choose for you, which is good. It's just a nice little, uh, a nice little thing that I've started doing. Um, I'm really enjoying it and I'm getting better at cooking as well. Um, just from knowing what to put in sauces and stuff. So like creme fraiche is like in a lot of stuff. Like you don't realize how much stuff it's actually in. Um, and it's just so nice as well. I love, I love creme fraiche. Better see to him because he's crying. Got a tango in the morning. That's not good. <laughs> Mummy's being unhealthy. Yeah. Mummy's being unhealthy and having a tango in the morning. Something that I uh, started doing when I was uh, pregnant, I did these sequin art things. I did a, a chicken on the last one, but I've got a unicorn this time. So you basically just get loads of pins loads of sequins different colors and you place them where the holes are and just pin them in which is quite satisfying um i didn't think i'd enjoy it but i actually do it's quite it's quite a mindful mindful kind of task it's just cool uh, and also knitting as well i've i've tr i'm str starting to try and get back into my knitting uh, doing my headbands, hats, and I'm actually teaching myself how to do some booties, like baby booties. Um, I'm literally just learning off YouTube, uh, a YouTube video, uh, how to do baby booties, and see if it, they'll fit you. I don't, I don't think they will though, because I think they're newborn, and you're definitely not newborn anymore. Even when you were newborn, you still didn't look newborn because you were massive, weren't you? Giving me and daddy a bad back, aren't you? Hey. We're going to have bad backs now, until you're older. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's not your fault, is it? No. Someone's done a trump. Someone's done a trumpity trump. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, honestly, I don't know what I'm feeding this child. Right, I'm going to try and get him to make do some steps towards you. Oh, there's one. That's it. 
<laughs> Good boy! Any other one? That's it. And that one? <laughs> That's it. Good boy! <gasps> well done! Oh wow! <laughs> and sit down and have a rest. Oh look at that. Look at that belly. <laughs> he can sit up and he can kind of walk. <laughs> That's some good progress, isn't it? Right, I've got changed. Uh, I'm going to take the Baba for a little walk because he's getting a bit aggy indoors, aren't you? So I don't know what to do with you. We're going to have to go for a little walk, aren't we? Hey. Yeah, I've just put this nice cosy jumper on. Getting me cosy jumpers out. Yes, ready for autumn. Get your belly in. Your belly's always out, isn't it? Hey. Uh, it seems like he's always wearing belly tops, but it's not. It's just because they ride up. Because <laughs> he's a little chunk. Oh, Nanny's calling. Okay, just before we go for our little walk, I'm going to give him, James, some Greek yogurt. What do you think? Yeah, you know what... Oh, <laughs> you know what that is, don't you? Bit of Greek yogurt. Right, let's see his reaction with this. I'm only going to give you a little bit. <laughs> Is that nice? Uh. We're out and about. He's got his woolies on. Mummy's got her woolies on as well. Yeah. Uh, we're just headed to the park now. Uh, the sun's come out a bit, so I've brought a towel with me to wipe the swing dry <laughs> so we can go in there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go to the park and then we'll head back and maybe bake some cookies. Shall we bake some cookies? Shall we? Uh, we'll see. I don't know if you can actually see that, but there's like steam coming up. From the tarmac stuff well it's it's not tarmac it's like rubber i'm on the park now by the way i'm gonna stick him in the swing in a minute but i don't know if you can see that but there's loads of steam coming up i don't know if it's because it's being wet and then the sun's come out and it's like frying it <laughs> in a way right do you want to go in the swing do you want to go in the swing Let's zip you out. Let's zip you out. Give it a little dry. <laughs> there we go. Fresh and new for you. Yeah, so I literally get the blanket, fold it, put it there. Someone's shouting the dog. <laughs> So put that there, get the baby out, he knows he's getting in the swingy, he knows he's getting in the swingy. <gasps> oh. <laughs> he knows what's coming. <laughs> he's wiggling his legs, I don't know if you can see. Ready? Ooh. <laughs> He loves it, don't you? Mummy, go behind ya. Ready? Woo! Woo! Would you like Mummy to be at the front or the back? Can't really see what you're doing at the back, can I? Ah, yeah! Is that good? Honestly, it's turned out such a nice day now. What the hell? Honestly, the amount of smoke that's coming up. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. So weird. I'll have to look up why it does that. Or I'll ask James. See if Daddy knows. We'll see if Daddy knows. Woo! Should we go higher? 
Ooh. How high do you reckon, like, a set? Well, he's nearly seven months now. So how how far how far up can you push a six to seven month old? Because <laughs> I just kind of wing it and just push him how far he enjoys, really. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. <laughs> I can't tell if he's clinging on for dear life or not. <laughs> what are you doing, chicken? Are you eating that? No, he's just... He's just holding on for dear life. There we go. There he is. That's it. Put your hand on that one. Put your hand on that one. <gasps> there we go. That's it. Now you're proper holding on, aren't you? Uh, if you've got babies yourself or kids, um, what age did you start taking them to the park and putting them on swings and stuff? Like I've had them on this swing, um, I come here quite often, uh, probably from about four or five months. Actually I'll put a little clip of the first time he went on the swing and uh, in the background you can hear me nan and me uh, cousin Liam arguing. I'll put a little clip of that on there for you to laugh at. Don't worry that much. He will get burnt, Liam. He's still a baby. His <laughs> skin's dead, just sensitive. Man, man, man. How is his body going to get used to it? You keep getting... Yeah, but you can't let him get some mates. Right, can you, you also, stop arguing yeah. while I take this cute video? You've also, you've also... <laughs> but yeah, that was the first time uh, he went on a swing. <laughs> and my nan was panicking because uh, cause it was dead sunny. And he didn't have a hat on. <laughs> Which is fair enough. I suppose you don't really need that now because it's nice and warm, isn't it? Here we go. They're better. Mummy sits on this swing. Make sure you're still going. Woo! Woo! <laughs> James! James, look! Where's Mummy? Put me on the swing. <laughs> you know what? I forgot how fun swings are, you know? See if we can go dead high. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mummy's having a good time on this swing. I'm going through all the smoke. Whoosh. <laughs> oh. Did I forget about you? Did I forget about you? I reckon he's gonna fall asleep in this, you know? Should we go on the big one? There's like a bigger one, like a round one that you can lie down in. I'll put him on that. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. See what I mean? This is the big one. The sun's in his face a little bit like, but yeah. Let's have a go with this, eh? I won't put you on this for too long because the sun's in your eyes. You'll fall asleep on this, I bet ya. Yeah. Um, whilst he's swinging, I found some uh, little mushrooms. There's literally no one on the park, by the way. This is like the best time to come. But yeah, look at them. Anyone know what type of mushroom that is? Can you eat it? That is the question. Probably not. Put <laughs> him over there just swinging on his own. <laughs> yeah, there's literally no one on the park. Um, all the kids are back to school now. So this is the best time to get your babies and toddlers out. The ones that don't go to school yet. But this is the best time, I think, to get them out and about whilst it's uh, kind of sunny. Um, get some fresh air. And yeah, anyone got any suggestions of what I can do with a six to seven month year old? Like to keep them entertained? Let me know, give me a message, leave a comment, um, send me a voice note, uh, do whatever you want, but let me know what you do with, with a six to seven month year old. Cause honestly, it's so hard to find stuff. Cause like they want to be entertained all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know. Give me some ideas. I was going to take him to um, do like a tots and mother club on a Thursday. Uh, I forgot today because I thought for some reason I thought it was Saturday yesterday. 
God knows why. Um, but yeah, so I completely forgot about it this morning. Um, but they run nine till 11. Um, so I was thinking of taking them to one of them. Have you, have you ever taken your kids to any of them? Um, are they any good? Let me know. It's like a mother and tots club, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, I think he's gonna fall asleep here. Right, I'll have to uh, I'll have to get him off before he falls asleep. <laughs> Best thing to do is get the feet in the grass and the soil because um, it helps their immune system grow, doesn't it? Helps build up that immune system, and he loves the grass. He just picks it. Grabs it in his hand and tries pulling it off, don't you? <laughs> What's that? That's mummy's leg. You like that grass? It feels nice, doesn't it? But yeah, even on a day like, look at all that smoke. Oh, this is quite a good little spot, actually. I might take a few little uh, photos of them. Honestly, like, I proper love doing photography, like yeah. taking photos and stuff. Um, I always have, to be honest, um, like film and, and taking pictures and that, and cool videos, cool shots. Anyone else enjoy, enjoy uh, doing a bit of photography? I think, I think a lot of people do nowadays, because that's, what, like, that's what's out there at the moment, isn't it? Just like all the techie stuff, like videos and photos and stuff like most of our lives kind of revolve around that now <laughs> well especially if you vlog or you know if you actually are a photographer and you do that stuff for a living i'd love that i'd love to be a photographer just taking photos of people and like weddings and that i'd love to do that what do you think shall i become a photographer hey shall i become a photographer yeah do you think that's a good idea maybe maybe one day I've just took the cutest photo of them ever. Um, I'll put it up now and show you. But you can see all the smoke and stuff in the background, which is quite cool. <laughs> We've got like a little abyss going on, haven't we? Yeah, mummy's hat. Oh, <laughs> no. you're gonna rag me head off. You're gonna rag me head off. <laughs> he always goes for um, my necklace. He grabs that and yanks it and uh, my last one snapped. So I've actually got a new chain for this now. Uh, James got me this for Christmas, I think it was. Um, but it's Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, but I've just got a new chain for it because it snapped. And now he's busy yanking at it, so I've got a feeling it's going to snap again. I thought I got a strong one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he's smiling away. You love the grass, don't you? Uh. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna chill here with the babs for a bit. <laughs> He's giving me the weirdest look. Woo! <laughs> Are you okay down there? I'll get you up now. <laughs> we need to change your nappy, don't we? Oh, little jump. Little jump. You just did a little fart, I don't know if you heard it. We'll have to change your nappy in the grass. Yes, we will. Oh, yes, we will. Another reason why it's good to put them in the grass is they just, they seem like in a better mood. Do you know what I mean? Like I, um, whenever I put him outside and put his feet in the grass, he just always seems happier for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's, he's spotted the smoke. He's like, ooh, what's this? Someone having a vape. <laughs> Another thing he's started to do is uh, play with his feet and his toes, got a bit of mud on there now because he's been in the grass but yeah he's uh, he started holding his toes and putting them in his mouth and stuff especially at night time when we're in bed look at that soil you got soil all over you if you've got a pram I definitely recommend getting one of these cup holders it's a lifesaver <laughs> We got it from uh, Smith's Toy Store and it's got like a little phone holder in it as well. Um, 
Yeah, I've yeah, just whacked my water in there. But I could get like a costa, whack it in there. Don't need to worry because it's it's been held. What are you saying? Do you want to be in it? Do you want dead attention? My dad used to say that. My dad used to say, uh, do you just want a bit of attention? He used to say, he used to say it to my little sister. Do you want attention? Do you want attention? And then he'd like go over and tickle her and stuff, which is quite funny. Hi dad, if you're watching, love you. <laughs> Has anyone heard of that song game? Waffle Doggy. It's off CBBS, And honestly, it's been stuck in my head all morning. I keep on going to the baby. It's Waffle Doggy. And he's like, what the hell? He doesn't even watch it. And I'm singing the bloody CBB songs. <laughs> Right, I'm home. Baby's asleep. He fell asleep on the way back, which is good. Hopefully, I get an hour to myself now. <laughs> to again, not even chill. Got to do washing. <laughs> Got to like clean round a little bit. Um, then again, I might. You know what? I might eff it and just make some cookies, and then just leave the washing and that for later. That's another day's problem. <laughs> cookies come first. <laughs> Right, I've put the um, wash on <laughs> and I've suddenly decided I don't want to do cookies now. I want to just chill because it's not often I get free time without the baby to just sit and do nothing. So I'm just going to sit, do nothing. Well, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to finish my sequin art. Either that or I'll be knitting my booties. Uh, I've gone for a red colour. Kind of like a Christmas vibe, but that's the start of it. So hopefully they'll turn into some booties. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna chill, take it easy. You know what I mean? Nice bit of Highland Spring, chill out and knit. So the video I'm using for this, um, for these booties, I'll uh, leave a link in the description to what one it is. And uh, it is in a different language. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't just choose an English one, but I just seen it and it had the it does have the the kind of description in English, so I can kind of figure out what she's on about. Um but yeah. <laughs> I'm also very desperate for a wee, but I'm trying not to waste a moment <laughs> of the quiet just to go for a wee I'm like holding it in and I'm like I need to go <laughs> oh shit I forgot how many I've done oh bloody hell okay I've finished my booty <laughs> you know what it's not bad for my first ever go at making a little baby booty I was thinking you know like Santa vibes maybe if I put like a little white pom pom there <laughs> What do you think? Do you like it? Let me know if it's a, uh, if it's a good one or not. <laughs> oh, I could get used to doing them though. I'll just like maybe make it a little bit smaller or... I don't know. I don't know whether I like it or not. What do you think? Is it a good one? It looks a bit weird there. It looks like a little bum hole. I, uh, what I did is I knitted it and then I pearled the end by accident. Uh, I didn't realise I was doing it. I was just following the video. Um, so it's gone a bit dodgy at the front there. But yeah, I need to knit another one now to match it. I can't just put one booty on them, can I? <laughs> I'm going to gonna have to stick with it. I've done it now. I like it. I'll see what James thinks. Put your hand out. What is it? Oh, it's a sock. It's a booty. Oh, it's... <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit rough, like. <laughs> you got little Santa boots on. Hold on. <laughs> Just popped out for a little walk to the shop to get some spuds because we're going to have sausage mash and gravy, aren't we? Um. But yeah, also it's nice just to get a bit of fresh air in the evening for him. 
tires them out a little bit. And guess what I got from the shop? <laughs> They've got all the Christmas stuff out. So I got me and James one of these. I'm gonna give him it when, he, when I get in. He'll be like, what the hell, Shannon? It's literally only just turned September. I don't give a damn. Home sweet home, on his play mat. He'll have a little play and then probably another feed and then he'll probably be tired by that point. So fingers crossed, he goes to sleep for us. <laughs> Mummy's gonna Yay. make some food, some sausage and mash with gravy. Oh, oh doesn't that sound nice? Are you gonna have some mash? Are you gonna have a bit of mash with some cream inside it? <laughs> <laughs> Not just cream on the side. Hello, Shannon in the future. Just editing this vlog. I forgot to end it. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to see more content. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.